Hi, I'm Molly with West Virginia University Extension Family Nutrition Program, and today we're gonna to make fruschetta. You may have heard of bruschetta, but this is a fruity version. I've already washed our cooking surfaces and our fresh produce in my hands, so I'm all ready to get started. So for this recipe, you need some French bread. If you don't have French bread available, you could use an English muffin, a bagel, a tortilla. Also, you are going to use some reduced fat cream cheese spread. You need one Granny Smith apple, some honey for drizzling at the end, but that part's optional, a cup of diced strawberries, and then a cup of mandarin oranges that have been packed in 100% juice or water, not that heavy syrup or light syrup. So our first step is to slice our bread. I'm using a bread knife, which makes it a lot easier to cut through the bread. If you use another knife, like a chef's knife, you're gonna end up smashing it. And this helps to keep your bread in a nice shape. This would be a great recipe to serve for guests or a party. It's kind of like a fruit salad on a, on a piece of bread. So I've got my sliced bread and I'm gonna toast it under the broiler for a few minutes. Okay, I've got my bread toasting in the oven and now I'm gonna start on our strawberries. I have washed these under running water so they are ready to be cut up. And if you've ever had traditional bruschetta, you know that it's made with tomatoes and usually basil and garlic. So as I mentioned, this is like a fruit salad bruschetta. So I'm gonna dice up my strawberries and you wanna do pretty small pieces so that when you get a bite, you're gonna have a bite of the oranges the strawberries, and the apple. The sweetness from the strawberries, the apple, since it's a Granny Smith, will be real tart. Okay, so I've got my strawberries all cut up into small pieces, and I'm going to Put them in the bowl and then add our other fruit. And you could definitely do different fruits for this. Anything that you might have on hand. I've got our mandarin oranges ready to go. And then our Granny Smith apple. I just finished dicing up our apple, so I'm gonna add that to our bowl. Such pretty colors. And I do smell our bread, so I'm gonna get that out here once I get this all mixed up. The juice that was on the mandarin oranges, that should help stop the apple from browning and it's completely fine if the apple does brown a little bit. That's just the oxygen hitting it. Okay, I'm gonna get our bread pieces out. Okay, I've got our bread all ready to go and our cream cheese spread. Okay, I've spread on a thin layer of our cream cheese on our toasted bread, and we're gonna add about a tablespoon of the fruit mixture. And the cream cheese is gonna act as like a glue. 
And this is a part that the kids could help with, adding that mixture on top. And wouldn't this just look lovely on a plate for a party or a picnic? I think kiwi would look good in it. Okay, and then our last step is to add a little drizzle of honey, because that just sounds delicious. Or even a sprinkle of cinnamon would be good. Ready to take a bite. Mmm. That is really delicious. I hope you join me back in the kitchen again real soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.